Starting a new business can be incredibly difficult. The reality is nine out of 10 startups fail within the first three years. To better those odds, more entrepreneurs are banding together to form cooperative workplaces. In this week's show, we're looking at incubators and accelerators, providing a home for business. We'll begin with a look inside one of the area's first business accelerators, nurturing new ideas from conception and beyond. Naples Accelerator is fostering innovation. Work is changing in the 21st century. You know, mobility. So we all have laptops, we all have iPhones, and you can work anywhere. Anywhere can be your office. So the notion of going into a small cubicle and putting eight hours or 10 hours of your life in that little space is very daunting for this current generation. Then on to a growing business, a hair care success story. From its beginning at a local accelerator, it may be coming to a location near you. Plus, specialty incubators are springing up across Southwest Florida, focusing on specific interests or people. They're a launch pad for dreams. We'll have those stories along with the latest in our Positively Healthy Medical series. I'm Amy Ocher and this is Behind the Headlines. I'm Amy Osher. Thanks for joining us. Business accelerators may be a novel concept to many, reflecting a new way of thinking. Instead of sequestering ideas and concepts, startups come together to form a network aimed at fostering innovation. Leading a successful business accelerator, Marshall Goodman has mastered the 30-second pitch. An accelerator is a place where startup companies can come be mentored, find a partner, a distribution partner, it could be a sales or marketing partner, and in many cases find venture capital. And we are the first stop for companies that want to get started. In this very location, entrepreneurs can fine tune their own pitch skills. Now, is this where people might be doing or practicing or hearing pitches? They absolutely are. So they can plug their laptops in there. They can, uh, that's actually a nine screen video wall. So we can break up their presentations. And break into business. It's the founding principle of this combination incubator accelerator, a nonprofit paid for with county, state, and federal dollars. The Naples Accelerator is the perfect design for developing 21st century businesses which really focuses on what we call disruptive technologies. Disruptive technologies are companies that are trying to take the current model of business and plus it up. A fresh approach to the workplace is the first thing people notice. What they find is if people are interacting and they're not in their little cube, innovation occurs. One plus one equals three. And that's the way the world's working. So notice how we built this incubator. A lot of glass, number one. You can see activity. A pet-friendly environment. We love when the dogs come here because it's a great break for us. And sometimes there's a little bit of barking I'm going around ask here. The dogs, how they do well together. It's full of creature comforts. Part of the day you might want to be sitting down, but as we all know, if you sit for eight hours, that's not a, a great... The standing uh, desks are awesome. So this you can move up and then spend half the day working yeah. here. There are a handful of ways to sit and work, together or independently. So these slide out. Okay. So I would just... Uh... So you go in there and you can put on the light. Wow. And then you slide this out. So you got a little system here. Oh, okay. You can pull that out. A little ottoman. And, and relax with your laptop, and your wow. laptop can plug in, you know, on the side. It makes for a friendly work site to share ideas and pick the brains of high quality mentors. We have one of the greatest boards, I think, in the country, is these are individuals who used to run not Fortune 500 companies, Fortune 50. And they're sitting here, sitting down with a young entrepreneur who dreams of building, you know, the next Apple, the next Google. 
Data shows the accelerator business model works. Without question, and that's not just us saying it, the national statistic are that companies tend to be 80% more successful by being in an accelerator. There is energy within these walls, a hum of excitement. I you want to come over and just hear people jabber, this is the place. A handful of graduates already hit the marketplace and many are on the verge. We think this is uh, going to be um, gigantic. Everything a fledgling company needs is here with options for downtime. So we combine work with a little bit of play um, to make people more effective. And snack time. Now I'm just curious to see like what the entrepreneur is eating, Twinkies? It might be cozy, but this is not a long-term roosting spot. Most startups stay between six months to a year. And then it's time for them to move on and make way in the accelerator for the next company. Back in 2015, a barber shop set up shop within the Naples Accelerator. Only this was no ordinary barber shop. It was the 14th business to join the Accelerator. The M Room was a new entry to the workspace, but also a new concept in the U.S. for upscale men's grooming. Based on a Finnish business model, the founders started a membership-based salon. Last year, the M Room opened its flagship location on fashionable Fifth Avenue South in Naples and followed up with a second shop across town. Giving a new twist to barbering, the concept is banking on growth. So M Room is a prior member a model. Uh, it's European largest barber chain. This park show location is number 78. Uh, so the unique features, which there are many of them, one of our that we sell members. So meaning that you pay one fee and you, it's valid for a year and you can come as often as you want in all the location we have worldwide. And uh, it has been found by two, uh, two world champion barbers. Uh, they've been trained and made this very unique cutting technique that our barbers are using, meaning that it's same consistent uh, services. So really you can get a haircut here and get a perfect trim somewhere else in the U.S. at another M room? Yes, that's, that's correct. So uh, when our customers comes in, if they are members or non-members, they will check in in the cooing system. And uh, this cooing system is communicating through our application. So our members can see on their, on, uh, on their phone through the application which location is, is having uh, uh, the coo uh, pr prior to them. So they will be checking in here. Uh, they will be then seated uh, in the barber chair where all Barbers are giving them a consultation, asking when was the last time they were here. Obviously, if they are members, they, they, they know from our point of sale system uh, when they were last time, which product they were using, and, and so on. If they are new ones, they are getting uh, consultation in here. Michelle, you're one of the barbers here. What does every service or every visit include? Every service includes um, a head wash and a scalp massage, and then on our platinum members, we always we always put a hydrator on the face. But on our platinum members, they get a, a long face massage and scalp massage, and they get a hot towel also while they're laying back in the chair. And the hot towel is really nice. Yeah, it? very nice. And then they come in, they get their hair, and they could have it washed before or after, depending on how they you know, like it. Some people like to get the hair off after, so that's up to them, but we wash first. What I wanted to ask too, because now um, we've got beards that are so popular. Do you be do beard yes, grooming as we well? Yes, we do a lot of shaves and a lot of grooming and a lot of lineups, and that's like the newest trend, so that's been pretty popular. About that much? Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, no more than that, that would be great. We know where we Looks good. So why did you select Naples to headquarter this concept in America? Well, I think uh, as we have ambitious plan to grow and be nationwide, I just think that this is an excellent place to attract investors. There's lots of uh, visitors from uh, different states, and once we want to be all, all around uh, in the country, in, in numerous state and cities, I just think that Naples is like a perfect destination to start the business and grow, grow from, uh, from here. 
Breaking into the marketplace is one of the biggest challenges facing any new business. Having a network of peers and mentors makes the learning curve less steep. So it's no wonder like minds work well together. A trend within accelerators is to cluster specific areas of interest. The Rocket Lounge in downtown Fort Myers launched its co-working site in 2016, cultivating a working space for tech startups. Starting from a co-working space, with the communication, have all these events, bring all these different people and of the ecosystem together, which is money, which is education, which are entrepreneurs and mentors. Most of the uh, spaces you see here are co-working spaces. So they rent out rooms, but there is no program, no mentorship, no events where they raise money. And this is what we have to build here. The Rocket Lounge's first tenant was Echo Medes, which works to streamline the purchasing of sustainable products for building and construction. Its founder appreciates the energy of being around young entrepreneurs. And a new accelerator in Collier is focused on food. The Immokalee Culinary Accelerator is already busy mentoring future chefs and giving them a chance to learn from some of the world's best. Construction started in the spring to transform an empty building at the Immokalee Regional Airport into a 50,000 square foot space, including a huge commercial kitchen. The workspace will be home to a wide variety of foodie entrepreneurs. Coming up, a high-tech option to treat an embarrassing problem. It keeps people from feeling tied to the bathroom. We're tackling incontinence after the break in our Positively Healthy series. Life here is amazing, and so is the joint care. At the Total Joint Center at Physicians Regional Healthcare System, we've changed the experience of joint replacement for good. With our comprehensive joint care program, most hip and knee replacement patients return home in just two days because we know you want to get on with your active life. Pain-free living starts at Physicians Regional Medical Center Collier Boulevard and Physicians Regional Medical Center Pine Ridge. Hiring the right moving company is important. Best Moving and Storage is a family-owned and operated business serving Southwest Florida for over 22 years. From our free in-home estimate until the last piece of furniture is in your new place or stored in our climate-controlled warehouse, we treat you like family. Best Moving and Storage is fully licensed and insured with all of our employees being certified drivers and packers. When it comes to protecting your treasured belongings, choose a company that's experienced and trustworthy. Call Best Moving and Storage today at 239-592-6565. My name is Steve Unser and cabinetry is my specialty. I have been creating custom design cabinetry for 20 years in Southwest Florida. And now I am celebrating the grand opening of our new Naples showroom. Steve Unser Cabinetry will help you design your kitchen, bath, or home office with stunning results. Offering the best quality of cabinets with a wide variety of design options and pricing to fit any budget. If your kitchen isn't becoming to you, you should be coming to us. Now two locations to serve you. It's no small problem. More than 34 million adults in the United States suffer from overactive bladder, but a little needling in the right location may be life-changing. Here's the latest in this week's Positively Healthy Report. It's a growing, going problem. Urinary incontinence is filling millions of Americans with frustration, with overactive bladder making them feel a sudden urge to use the bathroom. I've had patients who are just inconvenienced, to ones where they're constantly looking to restrooms, to patients who literally can't leave the house. Dr. Barkley's story is a urologist with Physicians Primary Medical Group. For patients who don't get relief with medications, he offers a stimulating solution. We place a small acupuncture needle right behind your, inside of your ankle, and I put a little electric charge to it. You don't feel anything, and it sort of feedbacks to the bladder and in doing so, the bladder calms down a little bit. The treatment is called percutaneous tibial nerve stimulation, or PTNS. Electrical pulses travel up the tibial nerve towards the sacral nerve, which stimulates the bladder. It works along the same premise as implantable devices, but doesn't require surgery and leaves nothing behind, including troublesome urges. The only real contraindication to this treatment is uh, an implantable pacemaker. 
um, which we can work around sometimes. But beyond that, there's really no big downside to it. PTNS typically involves two courses of six treatments, lasting under 30 minutes each. Patients generally notice results after a few sessions and may have long-term relief. Even in people who have not done well on other treatments in the past. So a painless approach may help people with overactive bladder control their urges. Staying on top of the new and developing is also the job of our reporters. Here's a look at what's happening on the beat. Thanks, Amy. I'm Eric Statz, the environment reporter at the Naples Daily News. Wanted to tell you about a couple stories I'm keeping an eye on this week. Uh, one, work has started to dig out sand from Clam Pass in North Naples. Some winter storms uh, had pushed sand up into the pass and caused quite a bit of erosion on the north side of the pass. Crews are going to be working for about a week or so to realign the pass so that it will uh, stay open and put the sand down at Clam Pass Park. There may be some beach closures during the work, but it's expected to be minimal. The other story has to do with oil testing in the Big Cypress National Preserve. A Texas-based company has wrapped up work there, and the National Park Service is now looking at whether there was any environmental damage that was caused by the survey crews. Uh, they used some pretty large trucks, very large trucks, to conduct a seismic survey to look for underground formations that may contain oil or gas. No word yet about what they found, but we will be keeping an eye on that. Hi, I'm Ashley Collins. I'm a reporter with the Collier Citizen. This past week I got a chance to work on another Hashtag Southwest Florida Strong episode, this time featuring 28-year-old Anne Marie Zoller. Uh, it's really interesting. She's actually going up to Minnesota this August to participate in the Susan G. Coleman 60-mile three-day walk. It's a lot of walking, but she says that she's looking forward to it. Uh, this is her third year doing it, so she's pretty much a pro at it. And although she doesn't have breast cancer herself, um, she is walking for her friends and family that have experienced breast cancer at some point in their life. Uh, for more on this story, visit NaplesNews.com. Our workspace also contains one Brent Batten, which of course is enough. He joins us for this week's commentary. Thanks, Amy. So, OJ is considering moving here. Being the warm, welcoming community that we are, it's only fair that we offer him some information to help him decide. For instance, Naples is situated on Florida's west coast, a prime target for hurricanes. Granted, we haven't been hit head-on by a major storm since about 1960, but that just means we're overdue. The tropical climate leads to mild winters and brutally hot, humid summers. You like lightning and torrential downpours? You've come to the right place. We're surrounded by natural wonders such as Everglades National Park and the Big Cypress National Preserve, which is to say we're surrounded by the world's largest breeding grounds for mosquitoes. Speaking of wildlife, Collier County enjoys an abundance of it, like the bears that knock over your trash bins every week on garbage day, and the woodpeckers that wake you up at sunrise pounding on your downspouts. You like golf? Naples is sometimes called the golf capital of the world. It's a title we borrowed from Myrtle Beach. That's really where you should go if you love golf. More courses, less expensive. Naples is a safe community. Police don't mishandle evidence. Prosecutors don't flub cases, in case that sort of thing matters to you. As an athlete, you'll appreciate the active sports culture of Southwest Florida. Maybe you could find a role as a volunteer youth coach. Oh wait, the background check. Never mind. We have exclusive shopping, but nothing like Beverly Hills, Brentwood, Laguna Hills, places like that. You're familiar with that area, right? I seem to recall you toured it in a white Bronco some years back. And fine dining, we have that too. Although rich continental cuisine may be a bit much for someone who's been on a bland diet for the past nine years or so. So Mr. Simpson, we hope you'll take all of this into consideration as you get set to leave prison in October. Incidentally, I hear Hawaii is fabulous that time of year. I'm Brent Batten. Be sure to read my columns on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays in the Naples Daily News. Check me out on Facebook and Twitter. And as always, thanks for watching. Still to come in this week's Inspired Living, we're sharing tips on how to scale your artwork to fit your space. That's ahead on Behind the Headlines.
It's the final days of Bears $20 million sell-off. Huge savings store-wide, making way for new collections. Up to 70% off every piece of designer furniture. Dining rooms, living rooms, bedrooms, accessories, and more. All at rock-bottom prices. Everything must go. Up to 70% savings and more. Plus a bonus 15% off all remaining clearance floor samples. Bears $20 million sell-off. And Sunday. The area's only 30 minutes or less ER service pledge means you'll find less waiting for the care you need. And because we're full service hospitals, a lot more care if you need it. Less waiting, faster care. Only at Physicians Regional Healthcare System. Is your auto insurance keeping pace with your life? Ask for a AAA triple check insurance review to see if your current policy is still a good fit. An agent will assess changes in your life, like new vehicles or drivers. Make sure you've got the right coverage and all the discounts you deserve. They'll also see how a AAA membership can round out your protection on the road. Plus, provide roadside assistance, discounts, free services, and vacation extras. Ask for your AAA triple check today. Whether it's fine art or simply wall dressing, what we hang on our walls really dresses up a space, provided it's scaled properly. Our Bears design expert, Janet Graham, offers tips on sizing up the right location for your artwork. Hey guys, we're back in Bonita National. It's a beautiful golf community by Lennar Homes. And this is the Bougainvillea model that I decorated a few months back. And today I want to give some design tips on the sizing of artwork. So many times I do a lot of home consultations and I'll walk into a home and the most common design no-no that I see is artwork that's too small for the wall. So I'm going to give you a little demonstration here today. So we've gone to this store, you fell in love with this lovely piece of artwork. And your ceilings are 13 feet high, just like in the Bougainvillea model. And this goes on the wall. It's beautiful, but there's no impact. So then you say to yourself, well, what if I went ahead and stacked and I did two of them? So we get a little bit better of effect because we're filling up a little bit more of the wall, but it's still not quite enough because the ceilings now in these new homes are so tall. So to really get a dramatic effect, I'm going to have Kathy help me here, is to take a large piece of artwork, and I suggest you don't take your convertible, but get your SUV out, <laughs> and buy the larger pieces of artwork, stack one at the top and one at the bottom, and you see that you, you get immediate drama just by taking the larger pieces of artwork and stacking them. Thank you, Kathy. You're welcome. Or if you don't want to make that much of an impact, of course, because this is just a hallway and how we displayed in the model, you can just do a single. This is a perfect uh, size for this wall. And what I've done is it's also important to line up your large artwork with other lines that are near it. So I've lined it up right there at the top of where the, uh, the niche starts for the built-in. And this takes up about 50% of the, uh, the wall space. So you've got adequate space on the left and the right, and it's positioned uh, not too low, not too high, so you can still appreciate the beautiful art that's on the wall. So I hope I've given you a few design tips on what size art to buy for your home and what walls to put them on. Don't be afraid of large art. Large art is good. In case this one slipped by you, this past week included National Tequila Day, coming on the heels of National Donut Day, Ice Cream Day, and of course the popular Hot Dog Day. But no worries, there's still time to enjoy a cold, refreshing margarita. You can even make one yourself. Our team went out to Naples Taco and Tequila Cantina for a few tips. Enjoy. <music> How we doing guys? My name is Nick. I work at Tacos and Tequila in lovely Naples. Today I'm going to teach you how to make the Mazarita. We're going to start with an ounce and a half of our Milagro Silver Tequila. Next we have uh, two ounces of Agave Nectar. Followed we have our Happy Juice with a combination of lemon, lime, and orange juice. Fresh squeezed daily. Our House Margarita Mix two ounces.
Give that a good shake, guys. Top over ice, like so. Finished off with a Grand Marnier float. Mazarita. That brings us to the bottom of this edition of Behind the Headlines. Thank you for sharing part of your day with us. You can always catch up on past shows by logging on to NaplesNews.com. On the left-hand side, under Quick Link, select Behind the Headlines. I'm Amy Osher, see you back here next week. We'll play soccer. We she have told a... me I wanted to come here and wanted to get a ping pong table. Oh, I wanted to do a kill shot. You did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can tell I'm a little competitive. <laughs>